Hi, beautiful souls. Today I'm sharing a little light on oneness. When we keep opening our heart to more expansive ways of loving and existing from our heart space, unifying all that we are, not seeing the separation in anything, um, becoming a beautiful pillar of light, unifying all of our chakras, unifying with all beings, the plants, the trees, the nature, the sea, the sun, other people, animals, everything. We are all one love, here to experience love, here to reunite once again, because when we first seeded here, we were pure, we were playful, and then separation occurred. And when the separation occurred, then all of those emotions, all of those behaviors that cause more separation and more fear uh, perpetuated. And we're at this moment now where since the 12, 12, 12 gateway where many of the veils were shed, that this ascension path has become much clearer and much easier for us to navigate. When a small selection, and I say not selection as in chosen ones, but when a small group ascend, it makes it easier for the collective to send. So there's no pressure that everyone has to consciously choose this path but anyone consciously choosing this path will make a huge difference to this collective here on this beautiful planet at this time, in this now. And this is why oneness is so beautiful, to be able to love so freely and with such purity that you love all. It doesn't mean that you necessarily like the behaviors of all but when you when you go within your heart and you live from there then less of the heavy density surfaces in your reality I mean I know that you know that it's there we know that it's there but transformation happens transformation happens and so whilst everyone has their own perspective on things and they go but you must be doing this and you must be doing that. Well, everyone has their own perspective. Everyone sees the world through different eyes, through whatever experiences that they've had up until now will make their perspective a different way. They will see things in a different way. They will feel things in a different way. And what I am inviting and encouraging uh, for those wishing to to accept is that when you really love and when you release, 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 release let go of everything that you thought you were, all of your beliefs, let go of everything and just get really present and still meditate on love, being love and in the stillness and when you be, go beyond that point, that, that space of like just nothingness and then you open up and there's this huge, massive light of just pure love and joy. And that's the, the source of, of each of us. We are each, our essence is love, our essence is God. We are each God here in these physical bodies. And we're all experiencing whatever our different journeys and everybody's journey is valid and I respect each being's journey but we're unifying and we're, we're, we're coming together we are coming together whether people believe it or not as more and more people open their hearts and they are opening their hearts 
then there will be a big transformation here on this beautiful Gaia, on this lovely, beautiful Earth. So, you can either open your heart to greater love and understanding and compassion and merge with all, be one, not seeing things as oh, well, this is this has happened and that's their fault, so da-da-da-da, and that's da-da-da. But just see it as like, breathe with it. One love, one, we are one, one love. When I hurt someone else, I hurt myself. When I inflict pain and fear on another, I inflict pain and fear on myself. And then I must clear that. So, unify, know that you are God, we are all God, we are all the divine, and we can bring heaven here, because heaven is here. We can bring heaven here and create heaven on earth, together as one. Thank you for watching. My name is Zaza. If you like this video, share it, subscribe, comment if you feel called to do so. Many blessings.